Hi everyone. I uh, hope you're all doing good. This is me. Please watch this video till the end. I have a really awkward story to share with you guys. Before I start this video, I have two important things to tell you guys. They are very important, so listen carefully. First of all, if you like my videos and want me to grow, then please like, share, comment, any kind of interaction that helps with the YouTube algorithm because I also want to grow. I want to make better content and I need motivation. So you guys got to help me out. Secondly, I want to show you what I'm wearing. So basically, this is my artwork, this one as well. I don't know if you guys know or not, but I do graphic designing as well. I love making sketches, drawings, digital artworks, and my sister gifted me these t-shirts with my artworks on them and she said, "Maybe you should start your own merchandise." And I was like, "Not a bad idea, but I'm not sure if anyone would want to buy my merchandise." So I'm basically asking you guys, what do you think? Should I do that? I am sharing my Behance link in the description below where I post my random artworks. So have a look and let me know what are your thoughts. Now coming back to the video, as I told you, I do graphic designing as well. And long time ago, when I started this YouTube channel, I used to make animations. I used to only post animations. There is this one animation I posted called a love story that will make you smile. That's the most popular video on my channel i don't know why but it is and a lot of people ask me is it based on your real life love story is it inspired by some true events or something before i get into that let's watch the video first So is it based on my real life? I'm not that lucky to have a cool handsome guy falling for me or a best friend who's doing so much for me who gives me so much importance. No, it's not based on my real life. There are only two things that could have been inspired by my real life. First thing is, yeah, I was a nerd. I still am, but when I was studying, I was a total nerd nerdest of the nerds there are good looking girls and there are gawky girls i was the gawky one nobody was romantically interested in me i was invisible i was completely invisible to the world of 
romance but you know when i became a teenager when your hormones are going crazy it used to bother me you know the girls around me were getting so much attention and i was like my life is so sad no guy is interested in me and you know there is this really awkward story i used to travel to school with another girl her name was also sonia so once a guy came up to me and he handed me this greeting card like valentine's day kind of a card and i was like and the name written on that on the envelope was sonia so i was like am i getting a proposal or something then the guy said can you please pass this card to that sonia and i was like sure why not so that was my life what what am i talking about that is still my life anyways so you're getting my point that nerd part is relatable and the second thing that is relatable is i always used to have crushes on the most coolest popular guys like i was that gawky awkward girl but my crushes would always be the like the top notch i was living in a fantasy world so nothing ever happened because it was all in my dreams now there is one more thing that people ask me about that video that why did the girl choose her best friend in the end when she clearly had a huge crush on the cool guy the popular guy and the answer is i made that video when i was an adult i was wiser i understood the world the people better the girl chose her best friend because with the popular guy she could not be herself she had to pretend to be this glamorous girl which she was totally not and with her best friend she could be herself she could do anything she wanted to do without pretending the popular guy fell in love with her fake personality but her best friend loved her for who she really was and that's the important thing you have to be yourself and other people should accept you for who you really are so that's the moral of the story i think So I guess that's it for today's video. Anything you want to tell me, please tell me in the comments below. I read all your comments and I try to reply as well. So please comment and let me know your thoughts. I'll see you next time. Till then, take care. Stay happy, stay hydrated, eat healthy. I don't eat as healthy, but you should eat healthy. And I'll see you next time. Till then. Bye.